Hi guys, it's Emily here and I'm going to share with you my TBR for the Booktubeathon today. This is a week-long readathon hosted by Ariel Bissett and I'll link the channel for it down below. There's lots of reading challenges, there's lots of video challenges as well. It should be a really exciting week. And there's seven challenges, so I'm going to go straight ahead and tell you about the books. So the first challenge is to read a book with blue on the cover. So I chose one of the books that I was planning to read anyway for the hashtag Cam Month project, which Virginia Woolf is doing. And I'm kind of casually doing some companion reading slash videoing for. And I chose Etta and Otto and Russell and James by Emma Hooper. And it's about an octogenarian living somewhere in the middle of Canada who decides to set off on foot to see the sea for the first time in her life. I'm going to combine challenges two and three by reading one of my dad's favourite books, which also happens to be written by an author sharing the first initial of our last name. So that is The Chrysalids by John Wyndham. I read my first John Wyndham, which was The Midwich Cookies, earlier this year. I absolutely loved it. It was also a really quick read, so I think this should be a really good one for a readathon. Now, challenge four is to read the last book that you acquired. Now, after filming my video about the hashtag Cam Month project, I was a little bit unhappy with my selection. I felt like I could do with some more challenging reads. So I plundered my mother's book collection and brought home a whole armful of Cam Lit options. And I'm actually going to use one that I've already started, but I'll definitely not have finished before the readathon starts. And this is quite a long book, which follows a young man as he researches his family history and traces four generations going from slavery in the US to his own experience as a mixed race person in modern Canada. So this is really, really good so far. It's really accessible and quite a fast read for such a long book. So if I by any chance manage to accidentally finish it over the weekend, then I'm gonna be reading the last book that I purchased, which is this lovely little copy of The Queen of Spades and some other works by Alexander Pushkin. This is actually published by Pushkin Press and they do gorgeous little high quality paperbacks, mostly of translated fiction, I think. I've never read any Pushkin before and I'd really like to get into some more Russian literature, so I'm looking forward to trying this. So number five, I think, is one of the most difficult challenges, which is to read a book without letting go of it. So like most of BookTube, I think, I have gone for one of Penguin's Little Black Classics and I've gone for The Old Nurse's Story by Elizabeth Gaskell. I've read most of Elizabeth Gaskell's longer works. I absolutely love them, especially North and South is up there amongst my favourite books. So I'm definitely going to enjoy this. And most of the little black classics weigh in around 50 pages. So I think this will definitely be achievable as long as I set aside a window where I'm not going to be interrupted. Then challenge number six is to read a book that you really want to read. And there are so many different choices that I could have had for this one, but I've gone for French Milk by Lucy Nisley. And this is one that I got for my birthday. I've been really looking forward to reading it because I love books set in Paris and it's a kind of graphic travel memoir so it's very visual so it shouldn't take too long to read. I first heard about Lucy Nisley in a fantastic spotlight video by Sarah Actually Read so I'll link that down below if you want to know more about this. So that's five books and I don't know if realistically I'm going to get around to a lot more of that because I'm actually going away to a wedding on the weekend at the end of the readathon but I have got a handful of other books here that I'm going to possibly turn to if I manage to finish all of that. They're all library books but they're all also fortuitously quite short. So the first one is Conundrum by Jan Morris and this is a memoir written by a trans woman in the 1970s about her coming to terms with her gender identity and the experience of transitioning at a time at which it was very groundbreaking and even more misunderstood than it is now. I heard about this recently when there was a lot of stuff in the news about Caitlyn Jenner and I read an article where somebody was talking about all of the controversy and they suggested turning to this book as a really honest and open memoir about the experience of transitioning. I just thought it sounded really interesting. It's also very short, so it shouldn't take me too long to get through. I'd also like to read The Life of Hunger by Amelie Notham. And again, this is a autobiographical book. It's about a girl who grew up in a diplomatic family. So she did lots of traveling around the world. She also, I believe during her youth, struggled with eating disorders. I've heard really good things about Amelie Notham. So I'm excited to read the first work by her. And then finally, I have a graphic novel which is The Wicked and the Divine and I know lots of people have enjoyed this on booktube it should be a really nice quick one if I find myself with a bit more time towards the end of the week so that's my booktubeathon TBR if you're going to take part let me know what you're thinking of reading if you made a video link it down below I'd love to have a look and really my main aim for this readathon is to do a bit more interacting to be on twitter more and to be chatting to people about what they're reading I've not been so good at previous readathons of balancing that wanting to read loads but also wanting to have the social aspect so I'm hoping to enjoy this one a lot more than previous. Okay I will probably see you sometime at the end of the week to tell you how I did. Bye!